houses. It's as simple as that. Question number four, Willow Jean Prime. Thank you. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Will the families package help New Zealanders meet the cost of living? If so, how? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Grant Roberts. Mr Speaker, yes. Through the families package, the government will introduce a winter energy payment to help New Zealanders on fixed incomes meet the extra cost of heating their homes through the winter months. The winter energy payment amounts to $450 a year for single people and $700 a year per year for couples with dependent children when fully rolled out. After the 1st of July, everyone receiving superannuation, a main benefit or a veteran's pension will start receiving this assistance, approximately 1 million people. Excellent. Supplementary. Why is the winter energy payment necessary? Well, Mr Speaker, we can see why the payment is needed in research, recent research and statistics. According to research by the University of Otago, about 1,600 additional people die each winter, mostly from respiratory and circulatory problems and in many cases because of cold housing. The, re the research shows that the risk of dying in winter is increased for those who have low incomes and are living in rented accommodation. What's more, according to Statistics New Zealand latest household living cost price index, since June 2008, the increase in the cost of living for beneficiaries has been 61 per cent higher than for the top 20 per cent of earners, and for superannuitants, the increase has been 75 per cent higher. Mr Speaker, the winter energy payment is necessary because this government does not accept that in a country like New Zealand, people are sick and dying because they live in cold, damp houses. Supplementary. And what other announcements has the, has the government made that complement the winter energy payment? Well, Mr Speaker, the winter energy payment is just one of the government's policies that will help people who are living in cold and damp homes. As part of our 100-day plan, the government passed the Healthy Homes Guarantee Act, enabling the government to set minimum standards for the quality of rental housing. We are currently consulting with the public on the Healthy Homes standards, which will cover heating, insulation, ventilation, draft stopping drainage and moisture. For too long, too many Kiwis have had to deal with substandard housing that damages their health. This government believes that every New Zealander deserves a warm, dry, healthy home to live in, and we are acting to make that a reality. Question number five, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Speaker, my question is to the